Hi again, so we have reached exercise 6, which is about generic tree. So in the case where we have not just one child, how we can uh, represent this uh, uh, tree? So uh, let's take an example. So suppose that we have this tree, so this tree is not uh, a binary tree. So we have a, a, a node, for example, the, the, the first node, the root node, the number one. It has four children, two, three, four, and five, and the other they have between 0, 1, 2, and 3, so maximum is 4. So how can we represent this tree? So obviously you will say that, okay, I can use uh, four pointers. So I will call it first child, second child, third child, and fourth child. And what it happens if I uh, uh, I have uh, uh, 10 uh, child per uh, uh, per node, so you can tell me, okay, I can use, use an array, so we'll solve that in a later example. However, we can uh, uh, work it differently, so what we'll do is that we'll uh, change the uh, the pointers, the uh, arrays here, the edges, so we will not say that we have uh, children, so we have uh, one child and we will have siblings, so we'll not uh, do that, we will modify this arrow, so uh, a node, it has just one child, and a pointers a list of siblings so in order to 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 get the 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 children of the node one so i need to go to the first child and then i will traverse the next sibling pointer so and if you can see it's the same as a v3 so it's the same as a v3 and we can solve any problems in generic tree uh, the same way as we have solved it in b3 bst or any other type of uh, tree that has just two uh, pointers, so just the, 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 the name that changes, however, the type is the same. So let's move and uh, implement. So they are asking us to uh, write a function to uh, return the number of nodes, and you can uh, check uh, in the C exercises here a list of exercises that deals with uh, generic trees. So for that, so I have the uh, type def here, so I have added a pointer, so it's, it's like a B3. So so for the creation and to check whether a B3 uh, a generic tree is empty or not, so we just need to check if it's null or not. So let's here uh, write a function to create uh, uh, such a generic tree. So we need an element and we need a pointer to the first child and a pointer to the next sibling. So it's the same way as we have done in a B3. So I'll try to create a pointer. Uh, a generic tree, so let's call it uh, T3, and I do the allocation, so it's a generic tree, malloc size of stack node, and so if not tree, so if I couldn't allocate the memory, I will return null. Otherwise, I will add in three arrow data the element E, three arrow first child, first child, and three arrow next sibling. So it's nice. It's as easy as that, and I will return the three. So this is the tree. So I have used the construct here in the main function in order to uh, reproduce the, the tree that we have seen in the animation. So and let's write the function that counts the uh, number of nodes in a generic tree. So again, it's like uh, a normal B tree. So if uh, the generic tree is null, so if it's null, I will return a zero. Otherwise, so it's equal to one plus the number of nodes uh, to the left. And no, there is no left here, so it's just the uh, first child and the next sibling. So it's generic tree, arrow first child, generic tree, arrow next sibling, and this is it for the exercise. So this is what this was the question in a uh, in a final exam. So I have wrote also here, it's already written, is the number of siblings and the number of children. Suppose that I have a, a pointer to a generic tree. So in order to count the number of siblings, I need just to, to loop over the uh, set the, the list of uh, next sibling. And if I want to count the number of children, I need just to move to uh, my children and then do the same for the next sibling. So let's run and execute and see the output. So uh, we have here count equal 13, which is obviously uh, not correct. So let's repeat here. So it's a return one, 
So it's not one, it's the count, the, the node in the... So here we have counted the number of nodes. Okay, it's, it's right. If I want to do the sum of nodes, let's write another function. So here I need to write data. So here count of nodes. And here we will have the sum of nodes. So let's run it. It's sum here. So it would be equal to two. There's nothing that changes here. It's weird. Ah, oh, it's some node. So I've called the same function. <laughs> so this is the while doing the copy paste. So it's equal to 91, which is correct. So this is it. So you can solve any uh, generic tree using the um, the concept of a binary tree. So we just need to have this implementation of generic tree. So pointers to the first child and then pointers to the next sibling and uh, this is it for this exercise if you have any question do not hesitate to drop me a message and i will answer you of course and again thanks for watching